Welcome to the first tutorial of the training series on SQL Basics. In this tutorial, we will briefly discuss the basic concepts. Data is a collection of facts. From data, useful information is derived and can be used in important decision-making process. The data is stored in databases. It is your choice which model you want to adopt while building a database. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System and is based on a relational model. The data is stored in database objects called tables. Every table is broken down into small entities called fields. Database tables are joined together with the help of relationships. Finally, we need a language that can communicate with the database to store and retrieve the data. In the final part of our video tutorial, we will look at Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. After you logged on to Management Studio, you come across this screen. On the left side of our screen is the most important section of Management Studio called Object Explorer. First thing in this window is the server we are connected to. If you expand the server, it dis displays all the list of databases connected to the server. The database we are working with is Clinical System. Before writing our first SQL query, I want to make a couple of changes to the Management st Studio's environment that will help us with our work. Please click Tools from the menu and Options. In Environment tab, you can see fonts and colors. Here you can make changes to type of font. You can choose color or the size of the font. I'm choosing size 16 will be more visible on the screen. Second thing we are going to add is line numbers from text editor and all languages. Go to text editor, all languages and choose line numbers. Line numbers help us find the errors in our code promptly. And finally, we go to trans Transact SQL and click IntelliSense. IntelliSense is also called autocomplete. I must admit some people find IntelliSense annoying and prefer not to use it, but I find it very useful because it saves time while typing the table or field names and click OK. This concludes the first part of this training series. Please post your comments and feedback. There are more videos available to watch and learn from. So please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.